Hello out there. I'm excited to share with you this topic and the name of it is how to take a small amount of money and turn it into a lot. As you notice, I did not say how to take a dollar and turn it into a million, just a small amount of money and turn it into a lot. And I've asked a lot, lot of people that how could I double my money? And a lot of people look at me dumbfounded and say that's not possible but but it is possible there there's a lot of people doing it and a lot of people are making a lot of money but those that are they don't talk about it because they don't want their territory investing one good way of doing it if you want to is scrapping i scrap and i collect metals i collect copper copper aluminum uh and such and that's free money I see free money. So it's like when I was in college, one of my friends said to me, he said, when I was in prison, he was a white guy, my friend, I met this man who was black. And one day he said to me, he said, you know what, everything I see, I see how can I make money from it? Please take a moment and like me, subscribe to me and leave a comment to me because I would love to hear back from you. So I would like to suggest some books to you to read. But before I do, I would like to say you can always invest in the stock market. But then again, if you don't know anything about it, uh, do you think you would be making a good decision on how to re get a good return on your money? All these gurus out there that are basically telling you what to buy, what to sell, when to sell it, I've listened to them. They don't have our interests involved. They run a newsletter service and whether or not you get a return doesn't matter to them. What matters to them is do they sell their subscriptions? So you can always invest in the stock market or listen to people on CNN. I won't mention any name, Jim Cramer and lose your money. Or you can also invest in yourself to learn the skill, the skill of investing. And there, you can also read. And one good book to read is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Remember, it was Benjamin Graham who Warren Buffett was taught by. And this is a classic investing book, provides timeless advice on how to invest wisely and grow your wealth over time. And if you know the famous resource investor, Rick Rule, this is one of the books he recommends that investors read. Or you can find a good brokerage firm. But remember, brokerage firms make money from turning your money. And there's only a few that really are any good. And one good one I would like to suggest, and I don't get anything from it, is the Sprout. Sprout. They are very, 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 very good company, and they watch after you. Also, another book you can read, though he's really not a investor, but he can show you how to make a lot of money quick, is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. He is the best-selling book. Oh, Robert Kiyosaki. Okay, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is, is a good book to read. I read it, and I read most of his books. It's the best-selling book challenge conventional beliefs about money and wealth and provides practical, practical, practical advice on how to build wealth through real estate and other investment. He does not approach the stock market, but he approaches real estate and other types of investments and he's good i mean he's made his money hand over fist and he knows his stuff number three is the simple path to wealth by j l collins and this book provides a straightforward no nonsense approach to investing and growing your wealth over time and again please let me repeat the simple path to wealth by j l collin i hope that helps you so we got one down 
One down is the stock market. Number two, you can always start a side hustle. That's a great way to make money. For me, like I said, I own a landscaping company. So when I'm driving from job to job to job to job throughout the day, I see people throwing away scrap. Oh, there's a piece of copper wiring. Let me get it. And really, to build wealth, you got to think about it as accumulating. You start accumulating. You start stacker, stacking, and it gets taller and taller and more and more and more and more and more. So consider that. You know, a lot of people, you know, I painted curb numbers for people, you know, going around passing out flyers on the homes and paint a curb number, get $20 for it. You can do 50 a day, 40 a day without any trouble. That's $800 a day, 800 times four, $3,200 a week. That's a good hustle. But one th bad thing about it is when you do the city, you have to go up, move on to the no, another city. So you live in a hotels and such, and that's why I don't do it anymore. Also, you can save and invest your change. And that way, you can basically start accumulating money to invest and work for you. But what you want to do is have it work for you, okay? Find that solution that works for you. There's a lot of people on YouTube proclaiming you can make millions in one day, but be careful, okay? Try try them before you buy into their program. You can also participate in high yield savings account. You know, a good, good way possibly to protect yourself while we have inflation. A lot of people are buying treasuries now and 5%, and that way they have a secure money, you know, guarantee return on their money. and. You know, when you get aged, you want that guarantee. You want to make sure that next year you have money and you do not lose it all in the stock market because your risk tolerance go down when you're older because you can't accumulate it again as fast as you can in your youth. You can also invest in real estate. A lot of people are getting rich doing Airbnb. They're also getting rich on buying a home renting out rooms like a boarding house, but that's a dangerous element too because you don't know the types of people you're getting. So if you do something like that, check, check, check their reference. And also the one that I really wanted to say to you that worthy to be known is the simple art of buying and selling. You know, buy something low, resell it. I got a guy that lives down at the street and he basically buys cars and he flips them. You can flip cars, you can flip houses, you can flip books, you, you can go e-commerce, you can go so many ways. I got another friend and I used to give him a lot of stuff I would find on the curbside and we, we had a deal. I made it rewarding for him. 50-50, you know, if I find a wheelchair, find a dresser, find a you know, bicycle, you know, flip it. So there's a lot of things you can do. Got a neighbor that sells bicycles. You know, he has all these bicycles in his front yard. That's a good way to get money because you can go to auctions, buy stuff. You can go to government auctions, buy stuff and flip it. So that's a good way to do it. You can even go to sell it on marketplace or such. So I hope this really helps you. I'm not saying do this or do that. This works, that doesn't work. I'm trying to get it so you think. And also, let me say this to you too. If you want to get rich, you have to build your mindset. You have to get out of that, out of that poverty stage. You have to get out of thinking of yourself as being poor because it's a mindset being rich. And also, I would like to say to you about four books that I think could show, totally change your life Before, besides those three I suggested. One is the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible builds our faith. And with our faith, we can move mountains, okay? So if you need to move things in your life from getting being poor to being upper middle class, then being rich, but think in tranches, okay? Think in tranches, okay? If you're going to build, build a wealth in the bottom, think about building it in tranches, okay? Steady, steady, steady wins the race, okay? 
The other thing I want to say is the book, Think and Grow Rich. In that book, I saw people actually building their wealth, how they did it. Not that you want to repeat them, but you want to get the lesson out of it. And the greatest lesson I got of it was this one quote. What the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Napoleon Hill wrote that in the book, Think and Grow Rich. The other book I want to suggest is The Magic of Thinking Big. It's a wonderful book, and it's by Dr. David J. Swartz, Ph.D. I'm reading it for my second time. A great book. You can buy this on Amazon, and it's not all that much. You can even buy a used copy and get that. And the third book, fourth book, I want to say to you to read, and a book that I'm really, really, really impressed about, it has really cut through the BS of a lot of authors that I've read about. It's called The Millionaire Fast Lane, okay? And it's by M.J. DeMarco. And I'm just like in awe by what I'm reading. And, you know, it's just good to be educated and informed. And I just want to sit, read to you about the chapter summary of one of his books, okay? Of one of his chapter, which is Lifestyle Servitude, The Theft of Happiness. And one of his quote is, Money can't buy happiness, but it can make you awfully comfortable while you're being miserable. Clark Booth Loose. But let me read this, just a quick summary, and then I'll let you be. Money doesn't buy happiness because money is used for consumer pursuit, destructive to freedom. Anything detrimental to freedom is dangerous to the wealth trinity. Money properly used can buy freedom, which can lead to happiness. Just think of being able to travel any place you want to. If you don't have the money, how can you do that? How can you enjoy your vacation to go maybe to Italy? Or I have a friend that wants to go to Dubai and he's saving for that. So, and that would make him very, very, very happy to say you've done that. Happiness, happiness stems from good health, freedom, and strong interpersonal relationships. Not necessarily money, but money does add flavor to it because it helps you go out to enjoy a nice dinner with your friends. It's the dinner, dinner that makes you happy, but the money is the allows you to do that. Lifestyle servitude steals freedom. And what steals freedom steals wealth. Being a slave to your work, does that add happiness to you? Doesn't to me. If you think you can afford it, you can't. The consequence of instant gratification is the destructive of freedom, health, and choice, going out and buying that new car, working on minimum wage at McDonald's. You know, what is that going to do at the end? It's going to make you miserable because here you are a slave to your debt. Anything you're a slave to will tear apart your freedom. So I hope that helped you some, made you think some outside the box and gave you, gave you some options to move forward with. And have a great day. Thank you for watching. And, and again, please like and subscribe. And have a great and glorious day. God bless you. Bye.